We have our first look at Modern Warfare 2's Season 1 Battle Pass here. Of course, it's a new Battle Pass this time around, so there's a bunch of stuff to break down here. How to actually get rewards, free content through this Battle Pass. It's a bit different. So let's start off here first. What you have to do, you play the game as normal, and you're going to earn Battle Token Tier Skips. And with those Battle Token Tier Skips, you're going to go to the Battle Pass and redeem them to unlock various rewards. Now, of course, we no longer have a tiered system here. In the past, the Battle Pass would start off with Tier 1, and you would go through the tiers all the way until Tier 100. And then as you would go along, each tier you would get an Operator Skin or a Weapon Blueprint, a Charm, Double XP Token, etc., this time around, it's a bit different. You have different combat sectors on the Battle Pass here. Now, I previously thought we would only have a couple really big sectors here, but as you can see in the gameplay, you have so many different sectors. Each combat sector contains five rewards. It seems like the template here is you'll have one main operator skin, a charm, a calling card, a double XP token, and another item as well. It may be different for all of the sectors, but that's just an example sector they gave us here. So that's pretty cool. Now, completing sectors will open new ones. You have to complete all of the rewards in that sector, and then you'll have access to choose your own path on this map here. So as you can see, the map kind of is in a web format where you could go up a little bit, you could go through the middle, you could go down. And as long as you're completing sectors in some type of pathway, you could kind of skip around certain areas. So if you complete a sector and there's, let's say, three surrounding sectors and you look at the items and you're saying, you know what, I don't really want to go for those items right now. I want to go for these first. You could go for that first, unlock that, use your battle token tier skips to unlock that stuff, you know, and then move along the actual sectors to a certain area and bypass other sectors where the items aren't as interesting to you or you just don't want to complete them right now so you could kind of choose what you want to do what you want to unlock it's a pretty cool concept here it doesn't seem as confusing as it first sounded i mean i completely get it there and of course at the end all sectors have to be completed to unlock the you know mastery battle pass rewards which will be that top you know formerly known as the tier 100 operator skin and other blueprints and other just top battle pass rewards like that so it still ends up being the same but the path to get there is just a bit different a bit more unique and you know more to your liking depending on what type of content you want first which i think is a pretty cool change i think it's pretty sick there of course for the base battle pass without buying it you're gonna have access to 20 free items the two new weapons and if you upgrade the battle pass you'll have a lot more content 100 rewards a bunch of other content 1400 cop points as well that's only if you buy the battle pass but the free version of the battle pass will still give you a decent amount of content and i guess it'll restrict the sectors to where you could go so certain sectors will be blocked i'm not so sure how that's gonna work there but obviously pretty cool stuff overall so again this battle pass change i think is cool i think it's a w it makes it a bit more different and interesting i know a lot of people have been saying if it's not broke don't fix it the battle pass was fine in previous call of duties i i think you know the tier 100 system where it's just a flatline system where you start tier one you go progress to tier 100 it was fine i i guess but why not change it a little bit here it makes it a bit more unique a bit different i like what they did here it doesn't seem like a bad change I, I don't know let me know down below your opinions on this obviously depends on the content you know if the battle pass content is good it's good no matter how you unlock it if it's some solid content cool blueprints cool operator skins doesn't really matter to me how you unlock it and what path you may take this just gives you more uh, ability and choice to unlock certain rewards first before others. But eventually, if you want that mastery content from the Battle Pass, the, you know, quote-unquote tier 100 skins and blueprints, you're going to have to unlock all of it anyway at some point. So it's, it's going to end up being the same type of thing. So that's my opinion there. Let me know down below your opinions on the Battle Pass. Of course, tomorrow when the season comes out, we'll go through every single piece of content in this new Battle Pass. Break it down for you guys. So be sure to subscribe for more MW2 Warzone 2 Season 1 content. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.